We're going to talk about box pots. You might have heard them called box and whisper pots. Um, and I'm going to use, on a regular basis, a what they call a modified box pot. So what I would like you to do right now is, before we get started, I would like you to put all of the creamy information in list number one and all of the crunchy information in list number two. Okay, so in this particular example, um, what we're going to do is we're going to construct a modified box plot, and then we're going to talk about each of the different things um, that's kind of important about these, the features we talked about uh, earlier that they call this socks, shape, center, spread, outliers. They put the outliers after the shape. And so as you're constructing these plots, after you've entered them into your list, list one, list two, in your calculator, what you can do is you can go into second y equals, and you can turn on your plots by hitting, excuse me, enter twice. And the modified box plot is the fourth one on the list of the types of graphs you can construct. So there's a scatter plot, whatever, histogram, modified box plot. The nice thing about the modified box plot is it'll show you outliers as you graph. So make sure you turn on the uh, first one. Make sure your X list is L1 and your, well, actually it doesn't matter, modified box plot. Then go to your Y equals again. Turn on the second one. And you're going to choose the modified box again. Hit enter. This time, though, you don't want it to be doing list one because we already have that one displayed. Let's display list two. The way that you'll do that is you go second two. And then if we want to graph this, we can go zoom nine. That worked well. So if you quit out of there, sometimes they freeze a little bit. If you quit out of there, you can kind of see what's going on with your modified box plots. One of the things, can you please stop talking? Thank you. One of the things that you'll notice right away is there are no outliers, because you'll see the box and the whisker, and there aren't any outliers, so that's kind of nice. The top one is your crunchy, the bottom one is your creamy, list one, list two. And if you want to check your window, you could check your window. So the cool thing is you can display more than one box and whisker at the same time. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to our notes, and I'm going to draw them by hand, so you can kind of see them visually. The calculator is really nice, just kind of quick get an idea, you can scroll through with the trace, see what all the numbers are. So now I'm going to go back into the notes, I'm going to draw a visual. And as I'm drawing this visual, one of the things I notice is that the scores somewhat range between 20 and 90. So 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. And since we had the, well, maybe I said it the wrong way, the creamy was in red, so that was L1, I guess. So if I do the creamy in red, I notice that the left side of the whisker, um, back from my data, will be the smallest value, which was 22. And if I look at where the first quartile was by tracing, you see it's somewhere in the 30s. The median is somewhere in the 40s. The third quartile is somewhere in the 50s, so 40, 50. And the end of the whisker <coughs> is just before 60. So it looks something like this. This is creamy, color coded for you. And in a little bit, I'm going to write down the different. Uh, numbers on there with my calculator function. And then for crunchy, color-coded for blue, the back end of the whisker is the smallest value, which looks like it's 40.
And then the first quartile is upper 40s. Sorry, you know, upper 40s, so 40, somewhere right around here maybe. The median is somewhere in the middle 50s. The third quartile is just past 60. And then the whisker is in the mid 80s. So our crunchy looks something like this. And what I can do is I can go back to my calculator and I can figure out what each of these things are, the quartiles that is, min, max, all that kind of stuff, by checking my calculator and hitting the trace menu. So if I go back in my calculator and I hit trace now, I notice that my min's 22, that my first quartile is 36, looks like. 44 for the median, 53 for the third quartile, and 58 for the max. I can go down to the next value, and its maximum is 86. And then its third quartile is 64. Its median is 55. Don't worry, I'll put this on the notes. Then 47 for Q1, and the min is 40. So after I've done that with my trace, I like to label my box plots, because again, I don't like the reader to have any doubt that I know what's going on. And in case my graph's not detailed enough for them, I can go with 22, 36, 44, 53, and 58. And then for my crunchy, I can go with 40, 47, 55, 64, and the max of 86. And what you're doing this for is to get a visual representation of comparisons between these two types of peanut butter. And so they were talking about preferences and who likes what. And then after we get done with this, we're supposed to talk about what do we notice. So some examples of things that I notice. I notice that the, remember we're talking about socks, the shape, outliers, center, and spread. Okay, so those are the four things that you want to talk about when they ask you to describe what's going on. When I look at the creamy, I notice that it is slightly skewed to the left because the left tail is longer than the right. I notice that its median is 44. I notice that the spread is 36. <clears throat> Sorry, the spread is from 22 to 58, meaning the range, thank you, is 36. In the crunchy, I notice that the spread is from 40 to 86, which means that the range is 46, which happens to be greater than the creamy's range. I also notice that its median is at 55, meaning higher than what creamy is. I also notice that creamy was skewed to the left, but crunchy is skewed to the right. But when I look at the box, which is where the most dense part of my data is, and I look at the similarities between creamy and red and crunchy and blue, what I notice is that the difference between the Q1 and the Q3 is 17. And the difference between the Q1 and the Q3 for the crunchy is 17. Interesting. Same kind of density in the middle. So these are the things that you want to talk about with the socks. Questions about that? Say, like, what that okay, in this next example, in 1798, 